This is your community, the place you have chosen to live, to work, to gain the better things in life you want your family to have. This is the Sacramento area where your children will grow up and play and go to school. This is where you plan to grow and develop together. A typical family fulfilling its dreams. Your community is growing, making progress. People are busy, working, earning, and moving ahead. New highways, bigger business buildings, new industrial plants, and in every direction, new subdivisions. More and more new homes to serve the ever-increasing population and to bring the pride of ownership to many. But to some, to this boy, the future is not bright. He's just arrived at the children's receiving home, the place where little boys and girls are taken by the police when sudden violence, accident, or police action takes away parental care. This becomes a way station to a temporary home. Sudden death, severe illness, child neglect, arrest for criminal offenses, commitment to prison, desertion. These are some of the cold, hard reasons for children being in the children's homes of our community. For some of them, there is hope of restoring the normal family life from which they came. Others never knew a normal family life. And for some, there is no hope of what the future can offer. Our children's homes are havens for the innocent little casualties of the brutalities of life. United, we give them haven through the United Crusade. Now that's a reason why we say united means you. Yes, this too is part of your community and through unity with your neighbors and your fellow workers. You must accept some of the responsibility of giving a little boy Something to pray for when he goes to bed. A hope for what may come tomorrow. Through the activities of the Foster Home Service of the Catholic Welfare Bureau, you do give some of our dependent children the chance to find security and happiness, love and affection in a home with foster parents. Now this is the kind of union you make possible with your crusade dollars. You can fill a definite void in several lives when you bring together a homeless child and a reliable couple and cause a love-sharing family to come into being. This is what you can do when you accept your fair share of the responsibility for the well-being of your community. And you don't have to leave the hurrying crowds. You can keep pace with the hustle and the progress of your community, right in step with the fellow next door, the man down the street, continuing the fast tempo of today's progressive way of living. You can go about your job and your shopping and your pleasure and know that your crusade dollars are lending a helping hand for you. And even children with parents, your own children, the children of your friends and the youngsters on your block and in your neighborhood need the kind of guidance and training that can come from worthwhile youth activities of our community. Young people need something to do, a release for energy. And by channeling this energy into controlled youth organizations, you help to make our better citizens for tomorrow, the men and the women who will carry on the tradition of the American way. This you do when you unite your contribution with others who support the United Crusade. Through your united efforts, you also sponsor such worthwhile activities as the teaching of water safety and first aid by the Red Cross. We're all aware of the staggering toll of lives taken by water each year. One way to fight this unnecessary loss of life is to combat the problem with knowledge and understanding and respect for water and the training that is needed to learn self-protection, confidence, release from fear, and then learning to swim well under all conditions. And then after being equipped to meet the first rule of nature, self-preservation, acquiring the ability and the knowledge to help others, the techniques of life saving. All this your young people can learn here in your community through your contribution to the United States.
Fair Haven home, and a haven it is indeed for the unwed mother, a young woman who desperately needs the kind of help, the spiritual guidance she can find here. The best of medical care is given the mother and child kind, considerate care and skillful rehabilitation. A chance to piece together the fragments of one shattered young life and the offer of a chance for equality for another. This your crusade dollars do. When you're busy at your job, when you're wrapped up in your own dreams and the hopes of the future, it's kind of hard to remember the more unfortunate of your community. As you go on building, improving, looking to tomorrow, it's easy to forget that others need your help and need it in many ways. And as you concentrate on your job, whatever it may be, you often forget that trouble doesn't always come to the other fellow. It could happen to you in many unpredictable ways. Fire can suddenly disrupt all your plans, wipe out all the gains you've made, and suddenly reduce your family to a situation of acute need for immediate help. And this kind of help is one of the many, many services offered by the local chapter of the American Red Cross. Because of your contribution to the United Crusade, the Sacramento chapter of the American Red Cross is able to be properly equipped and trained to step in with a helping hand when the family needs it most. In normal times and times of disaster, your Red Cross is ready to serve you in a multitude of ways. And this is another way you help through your United Crusade. Your dollars are your personal representatives in times of need. Eyes that walk, eyes that give movement to the blind, the sharp intuitive instincts of a dog trained to faithfully serve his master. These are guide dogs for the blind. The patience, care, and time required to produce this team of man and animal is made possible by crusade dollars. Such a combination isn't easy to develop. It takes a lot of training, many hours of work for both man and dog to make possible the remarkable demonstration you see here. Close your eyes a moment and think about the training you'd need to be a farmer without eyes. And your dollars help, too, for people without hearing who are lame and ill and without hope. Your contribution can work for you in many ways. And as you go about your daily routine, you can be secure in the knowledge that you don't have to give up any of your time personally to caring for the unfortunates in your community. There are experts as skilled in their work as you are in yours ready to act as your representatives through the use of your crusade dollars. A small portion of your time on the job can be converted into dollars which are donated for this purpose. You don't have to lose time or know intimately the needs for your help. A little of your time in dollars will meet your fair share. You can concentrate on the many amazing machines that lighten the workload of man. And this is another kind of machine. It's a cardiograph, a machine that analyzes the beat of the human heart and helps doctors to accurately diagnose the condition of the patient. Your dollars helped develop this machine and are continuing to make possible the research necessary to combat heart disease and cancer, the nation's two most ruthless killers. There's another problem among us, the aged and the infirm, many who need the services of a skilled nurse but who can't afford the cost of a private nurse. Words can't describe what visits like this mean to the aged and the bedridden in your community. It's another service you provide.
If you are an able-bodied worker gainfully employed, consider another segment of our community. The workers who are employed by the Goodwill Industries, people who are told they are too old to work or are handicapped and can't find employment. These men are too old. This man is handicapped. He's a deaf mute, but he is completely capable of operating the laundry machine purchased with crusade funds that washes the clothes donated to good dusters. Donated furniture and clothing is repaired and sold at a slight profit to make this agency almost entirely self-supporting through the efforts of the aged and the handicapped who can't find a place in today's industry. These people have the satisfaction of being self-supporting, even though there is no other place for them. You make this possible. The young men and the young women of the armed services have a need, too, the need for companionship and friendliness that they miss from home. Your crusade dollars answer this need. This is something of what your United Crusade means. A review of some of the agencies serving this community. Now when the volunteers call on you, be ready to give some of your time translated into dollars to help the many needs of your community. Yes, this is your community, and the you in United Crusade means you. And this is what you can do through the United Crusade. Remember, United means you. Play and go to school. This is where you plan to grow and develop together. A typical family fulfilling its dreams. Your community is growing, making progress. People are busy, working, earning, and moving ahead. New highways, bigger business buildings, new industrial plants, and in every direction, new subdivisions, more and more new homes to serve the ever-increasing population and to bring the pride of ownership to many. But to some, to this boy, the future is not bright. He's just arrived at the children's receiving home the place where little boys and girls are taken by the police when sudden violence, accident, or police action takes away parental care. This becomes a way station to a temporary home. Sudden death, severe illness, child neglect, arrest for criminal offenses, commitment to prison, desertion. These are some... This is your community, the place you have chosen to live, to work, to gain the better things in life you want your family to have. This is the Sacramento area where your children will grow up. Some of the cold, hard reasons for children being in the children's homes of our community. For some of them, there is hope of restoring the normal family life from which they came. Others never knew a normal family life. And for some, there is no hope of what the future can offer. Our children 